you have an NVIDIA GPU, you need to change these highly effective NVIDIA settings to boost FPS and reduce input latency as well as remove any micro stutters in all of the games regardless of whether you are using a really old GPU or one of the latest ones. I will show you how to debloat and properly install NVIDIA drivers, the best NVIDIA control panel settings plus some hidden settings as well as a few more tweaks to help you get more FPS and lower latency in all games. So let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is go down into the description of this video and download the NVIDIA optimal pack. Since it's a zip file, you can go ahead and use 7-zip or WinRAW to open it up and then just extract the pack out of it. Once the pack has been extracted, go ahead and open it up and inside of it, you will find three folders along with an application called NVclean install. The first thing that you want to do is open up the driver folder and inside of here, go ahead and open up the NVIDIA GPU drivers internet shortcut. So once this opens up, all you need to do is scroll down to the manual driver search and for the product type, most of you will be using a GeForce card, so select that. If you're using something else, then simply go ahead and select that from the drop down menu. For the product series, go ahead and select your product series. Just keep in mind that for laptop users, you'll need to select the ones that say notebooks inside of the brackets. For me, I have a 700 series graphics card, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Once the series has been selected, go ahead and select your product from this drop down menu, and then just go ahead and select your operating system. Now that all of that has been selected, go ahead and click on start search. Once the search is complete, you will come up with these driver results and what you need to do is get the latest one so click on get download then this page will open up and simply go ahead and click on download now and this will basically download the latest driver installer however before debloating these drivers we do need to ask why even debloat nvidia drivers basically debloating drivers allows you to remove all of the telemetry services that are constantly running in the background alongside your nvidia drivers just by removing these completely you can observe a great increase in the fps you get in games as well as reduced latency but we won't only be debloating the drivers, we will also tweak the driver itself with various optimizations using the NVclean install tool that we saw earlier, which will tremendously increase the performance of your GPU. This process doesn't involve any overclocking of your GPU, so everything in this video is completely safe to apply. Once the driver installer is downloaded, simply go ahead and copy it onto your desktop. The reason for that is because we will be debloating this .exe file right now. So go back into the pack once more, and inside of here, go ahead and right click on the NVclean install and run it as administrator. This is the tool that will allow us to strip all of the useless components from the NVIDIA driver itself along with the ability to apply multiple effective tweaks that can be found inside of this tool. So once it opens up, all you need to do is click on the use driver files on disk and then click on browse. Then simply click on your desktop and click on the .exe file for the driver that we just downloaded. Hit open and then click on next. Once you click on next, it will take you to this screen and inside of here are basically the components that you want to install. Now you do have three presets, one of which is all, the other one is recommended and the final one is minimum. The recommended one will of course install some of the HD audio via HDMI, which is very useful if your audio comes from your display. But for those of you guys who use speakers or headsets or don't use the audio through your display, you can simply go ahead and select this as well as this. Now a lot of you guys may also want to install G4 Experience components, but I would just not install it from here and I will also show you how to install G4 Experience separately if you want to use it. But other than that, simply go ahead and make sure that only the display driver required is checked. This is simply install only the display driver and it will remove anything else. So go ahead, click on next and now it's going to go ahead and unpack the installer and I will meet you after that. So once that process is complete, you should be on this screen and inside of here are some of the most recommended installation tweaks that we are going to be going ahead and applying right now. So for the disabled installer telemetry and advertising, you obviously want to have it on. As for the unattended express installation, it's basically personal preference but I like to keep it unchecked. Moving on to the perform a clean installation, go ahead and check it. Even though we will be using DDU to uninstall our previously installed drivers, we do want to remove any of the remnants that may be there. So go ahead and check the perform a clean installation. Then for the next option that is to install NVIDIA control panel app from Windows Store, go ahead and check it. As for the add hardware support, this does not have any impact on the performance whatsoever, so simply go ahead and leave it unchecked. Then click on the show expert tweaks and inside of here, we simply want to go ahead and disable the driver telemetry, disable NVIDIA HD audio drive sleep timer, as well as enable the MSI mode or the message signal to interrupts. You can also go ahead and click on help if you want to learn more about these tweaks, but these are my recommended settings. You can pause the video and copy them and then click on next. So after processing the package and applying those tweaks to the installer, the tool will show you a finished message along with choosing 
between two actions one is to install right now and the other one is to show in folder since we do not want to install the driver right now click on show in folder and inside of here all the new setup files that we will be using for installing our display driver simply go ahead and make a new folder on your desktop go ahead and call it the gpu drivers and then select everything inside of this nv clean install folder and drag it into the gpu drivers once that is done you can simply close out of it and then you can close this as well now if you open up the gpu drivers folder here are all of the files of a newly de bloated gpu driver but before installing it we do need to remove the older drivers so now to uninstall the older drivers and completely remove any of the files that are associated with them go ahead and open up the second folder that says ddu inside of here right click on the display driver uninstaller and run it as administrator and if it says for updates you can simply go ahead and click on no and it will say that expect limited support however that is not an issue simply click on ok and it should open up the interface now i know that a lot of people recommend you to boot into safe mode first and then use the display driver uninstaller however i have been using this tool for a very long time and it has always worked perfectly fine even when i'm running on a normal boot so this is what i would recommend but you can always boot into safe mode and uninstall the drivers there and then install the deep bloated drivers and then come back into the normal boot but for me and for majority of you guys who don't have enough time i would simply go ahead and launch it inside of the normal windows boot and once this interface opens up you simply need to go ahead and select the device type and click on gpu under the select device category it will try to automatically detect your gpu and select that one however if you have onboard graphics it may select those so simply what you need to do is first uninstall those onboard graphics and then click on your graphic card for me it's nvidia of course and what we want to do is click on clean and do not restart now since i am recording this video i cannot uninstall my drivers but all you would need to do is click on clean and do not restart and that's it it will completely uninstall the drivers for you and you don't have to even do anything so once the drivers have been uninstalled your resolution might have changed to quite a low one but no need to worry we are going to be going ahead and now installing the new de bloated gpu drivers so go ahead and open up the folder inside of which we copied our de bloated gpu driver files and simply right click on the setup.exe and run it as administrator this will start to load up the nvidia graphics drivers installer once on this screen all you need to do is click on agree and continue then click on custom advanced then click on next and make sure that the perform clean installation is checked then go ahead and hit next and it will simply go ahead and prepare for installation and then install the gpu drivers once the drivers have been installed you may see some error messages pop up especially related to the hd audio but no need to worry those are completely fine since we did remove all of those components beforehand to increase our performance but now that the drivers are installed all you need to do is go ahead and restart your pc and then you can continue on with this guide before moving on to the nvidia tweaks and the best nvidia control panel settings i want to show you guys how to manually download geforce experience if you want to use it so open up your browser and simply go ahead and type in geforce and then experience and then type in the download go ahead and click on the first link that should be download geforce experience and once here simply click on download now and then install the nvidia geforce experience like you would install any other program but now moving on to the tweaks so simply go ahead and open up the pack and inside of here go into tweaks the first one we are going to be going ahead and applying is the nvidia gpu tweaks which i have shown a lot of times on this channel so what these tweaks will do is they will work alongside with the nvidia inspector profile that we will be using right now and they will be making sure that all of the tweaks that we are applying and any others that we may apply will work properly alongside applying some of the new tweaks as well which you can go ahead and always check out by right clicking clicking on edit and reading through this so close out of this and double click on it to apply hit yes and then hit ok and then what you need to do is open up the nvidia inspector and then simply drag the rectangle nvidia profile that nip onto the nvidia profile inspector.exe once the profile is successfully imported click on ok and close out of it. now this will apply a lot of the hidden settings that will improve your latency and fps inside of the games but there are some settings that i want to show you inside of the nvidia control panel itself as well just to make sure that all of these settings are working properly so what you need to do is right click anywhere on the empty space on your desktop and open up the nvidia control panel now if for any reason you can't find the nvidia control panel here or it is not installed you can always go ahead and open up the microsoft store and search for the nvidia control panel and download it from there but once you open up the nvidia control panel for the first setting that is a just image settings with preview simply go ahead and click on use my preference emphasizing and drag it to performance now i know that windows will not use this since we will be using the advanced 3d image settings anyways but it's just a good habit to have it in performance just in case if you ever switch to this unwillingly or if you don't really know so once you have that simply go ahead and click on the use the advanced 3d image settings hit apply before that and then click on take me there inside of here go ahead and make sure that image scaling is set to off ambient occlusion should also be off anisotropic filtering off and tla sync and 
anti-aliasing gamma correction and anti-aliasing mode should all be turned off. As for the background applications max frame rate, this will simply go ahead and set the maximum FPS for any game or 3D application that is running in the background. You can go ahead and set this to any value you want, I know a lot of people will set it to the lowest one, but just keep in mind that if you use Discord or Spotify, then the voice chat, especially in Discord, will also be affected by this setting, and it may cause some stuttering issues for those applications, so that's the reason I will just keep it off and click on OK. As for the CUDA GPUs, if you have more than one GPU, you would obviously want to select your main GPU, other than that, you can go ahead and keep it as is. As for the DSR factors, simply go ahead and keep it off. Now for the low latency mode, I know that this is one of the most important and the most debated setting, if I may say. However, just keep in mind that if you play a game which already has a low latency mode inside of it, then you would want to keep this one off. The reason for that is because if your game supports low latency mode or ultra low latency or whatever the setting may be called, it will simply override this setting anyways. But we don't want any conflicts, so that is the reason we are going to be going ahead and keeping it off. As for the max frame rates, of course you want to turn it off here, and if you want to cap your FPS, you can either use the in-game settings, or what I would recommend more is to cap your frame rate using the River Tuner statistics server, since that has been shown to improve the latency in a lot of games, and I will probably be making a video on that pretty soon as well. So hit subscribe if you want to see that. Now for the optimize for compute performance, as it says in its description that it can significantly improve the performance of some computing applications, but it can also have a negative impact on some graphic features, so that's the reason we are going to be going ahead and keeping it off. For the power management mode, of course, all you guys know that you want to prefer maximum performance. Then for the texture filtering quality, go ahead and keep it on high performance. For the threaded optimizations, you basically have two options. So if you have four or more cores, you want it on, otherwise you want it off. And if you don't know, or if you have four cores and it's not working properly, you can simply go ahead and select it to auto. For the V-Sync, of course, you want it off. Now for further settings, go ahead and click on change resolution. And inside of it, the most important one is the refresh rate. So just make sure that you have the right display selected here and you have the highest refresh rate selected for that display as well. As for the adjust desktop color settings and inside of here what you want to do is simply bump up your digital vibrance to around 70 to 75 percent. This will not only make your games look much more colorful and vibrant but also your overall desktop and windows interface. I wouldn't recommend messing with any of these settings since the default ones will work perfectly fine for most of the cases. Then go ahead and click on the adjust desktop size and position. If a warning like this opens up click on yes. Once inside of here simply click on no scaling for the select a scaling mode and perform scaling on should be set to display if you have the option. Then click on the adjust video color settings and inside of here click on with the nvidia settings, go into the advanced and make sure that the dynamic range is set to full. It should be from 0 to 255 bits. Now that you have applied all of these settings, go ahead and close out of the nvidia control panel. And just to make sure that all of these settings and the driver itself is working properly, go ahead and restart your pc once more and launch into your favorite game. If you want to compare your before and after, then simply go into a game before applying any of these tweaks or debloating your driver and then compare it to after you have applied these tweaks as well as debloated your driver. You should be able to see a significant increase not only in your FPS but also improvement in the overall latency as well as smoothness of your games. But now that you are done here, go ahead and check out this video to disable this secret HDCP setting to improve your system's latency and performance.